kind of get a, a real good squeeze right here versus the traditional, you know, horizontal grip. So when you pull down, this little arch right here kind of makes it easier to get a real good squeeze in. Yeah. I like to do those pull-ups as a warm-up. Um, a real good way to kind of widen and thicken the lat. Before I get started with some of these other exercises, um, got a little more taxing, more vertical, horizontal pulls and stuff like that. So generally sometimes if I start with pull-ups, I may do three, four sets of 10 to 12, something like that. I've always done them all my life. So I, sometimes I tend to skip on them, but when I do do them, they usually pay good. That new album. What do you guys know about that? See my DNA. I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy. Wrong so much I can barely fit in the machine. Life's tough trying to be big. You can't do some of the normal stuff. Not so easy. Oh! Starting to sweat quick. A couple exercises in. Um, good thing I have my LeBron Nutrition supplements. Some supercharged. Drank about 30 minutes before the workout. And here I have recharged and aminos. So some people tend to take their aminos, you know, after the workout. I'll take two servings a day. Sometimes first thing in the morning and after the workout, but it really makes a difference when you're in here really stressing the muscle, you know, really, really putting it to the test and these, you know, supplements. So you can kind of push further and kind of get through the workout. Extra carbohydrates, you know, with the recharge, um, it makes a difference. So if you're wondering what I'm sipping on, this is my cup. Most trusted name in sports nutrition. Burning, burning. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now the warm up's done. Now, let's get into some rowing. Hopefully, we can get one of these. We'll do some upright rows. Upright rows, bent over rows. Sorry. Not an easy movement at all. Gotta have a big back. So, gotta push it. Let's I add got, some weight. So we're gonna pull these underhand, um, kind of hit a little bit of a lower lats. So that's real important, you know, back development. So did those first few sets overhand, switch it up just a little and do some underhand. 
weights a little tad bit lighter so I can get a better squeeze. Yeah. Roughly about 13 weeks out from the USA's workout, still pretty intense, obviously. You know, pulling some heavier weight. So at this point, still trying to put on some more size. Um, foods up. I um, haven't started cardio yet. Um, I probably will this week, according to my nutritionist. So that's always fun. Um, a couple days a week, three days max. Um, just to start trying to get conditioned earlier. It's better to be ready ahead of time versus having to try to really pick it up at the end, trying to hurry up and get the last bit of water or get sharper, you know. Never sacrifice the size, the sharpness for the size, ever. Whew. You guys see how I re-racked all my weights. I practice good gym etiquette. Never leave a mess. If you can put them on, you can take them off. What we're gonna do here, um, this is just a you know, basic hammer strength horizontal rope. Um, and you guys normally, you know, will see me with my couple guys that I work out with, you know, uh, Brian and Hunter. Um, this is a movement that they kinda came up on. Um, it's a bit of a isolation movement with a really good squeeze and contraction. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start off with that. So we'll work one arm um, and then we'll go into two. So this way, isolation works really, really good, um, especially trying to build good symmetry, both sides. You know, for me as of right now, I'm saying, um, you know, Dr. Lou is over at All In Athletics, trying to get me to straighten out my arm because, you know, my biceps are so tight in my brachial muscle. So some exercises like this, I have to use isolation. This way I can develop my back properly, even on both sides. If not, the left side to get more of a squeeze when the right side won't. Uh, so it's just good to switch it up. You gotta kind of know your body. Different having some instruction, you know, obviously, have some great people around me. Um, big time with LeBron and Nutrition, I actually get a chance to work, you know, hand in hand with Lee. Um, he's huge in my posing routine. Um, and just general information, you know, guidance on bodybuilding, period. Um, so being able to train, you know, with Hunter. Also, he's great training partner, Brian. Those guys really, really push me. So this is, you know, this will be my third attempt um, at going for a pro card. Uh, but it's, it's, it's just definitely different. Um, I've grown in the sport. My knowledge um, as far as kind of getting to know my body has changed. So nutrition is better, that's a huge thing. So Mr. Keith Klein does my nutrition. So he pretty much, you know, is keeping me in check every couple weeks. Um, I'll go back and forth with him, I have any concerns. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's just, you know, it's time to take care of business. You know, there's no more playing around. So. This was time to get it done. I'm coming to win. I will switch over to two. Um, that was a good solid three sets on the isolation. So let's move on, you know, and work both sides. So instead of sitting down on a seat, which is traditionally what you'll see, I'm just gonna stand up, kind of keep my chest up, you know, pull back for full contraction. Um, so I'm gonna pick up where we left off. 
with the amount of weight. You'll notice different variations um, in rep range. They are never let any less than 10 reps, but 20 reps is a pretty popular number for me. Um, my clients are very, very familiar with that number. <laughs> so I try to tell them I practice what I preach. So. <sighs> That's how it's done. Gonna use this side bench row as a finisher. Definitely one of my favorite machines. So if you are fortunate enough to have this machine in your gym, um, you'll notice these, you have two different grips. So um, for now I'm using the neutral, uh, kind of because I wanna try to hit my lats, the rhomboid center of the back. Um, this upper grip right here is, uh, if you're familiar with the reverse press, yeah, that kind of hits your rear delt. So um, what I'm gonna do, I actually, I think I'll do one more set with the neutral grip uh, and then kind of go up here so you can kind of get a better visual of when you're using this upper grip, what muscle that is actually targeting. Um, so it's, it's very, very useful. I mean, it's, I don't see this machine in a lot of gyms. I'm obviously at the wonderful Raw Gym Texas. Uh, we have one, so I get to take advantage of it. Um, so we'll definitely get a few sets in on that. Uh, but uh, one thing to keep in mind when using this one, um, if you're targeting those rear delts, just understand that you won't be able to pull as much weight. Uh, with these neutrals, I'm pretty much almost maxing out the stack. Uh, I won't do the same with this one. Uh, just because if you start pulling too much weight, then the lats may kind of get involved in a little bit just to get the job done rather than the rear delt, you know, that you're really trying to target. So just keep that in mind when you're switching up between the two grips. You want to try to make sure you keep your elbows up as opposed to dragging down. You have them down. Obviously, you're going to pull in this direction to engage the lat. We want to try to stay away from that. So we'll grip up here. Keep them out and just pull and squeeze. Pull. Obviously, as you can see, you know, that was 110 pounds. Now we're 150, um, but it is more than enough to engage the target muscle group. So, which is, I mean, what a lot bodybuilding is all about. He's kind of trying to paint a masterpiece. So the more detail, the better, you know, that about wraps it for back. So now on to the fun part. Um, not always, but sometimes I will pair back with biceps. So I'm gonna do a couple exercises, kind of cool now. Um, if you're pulling a pretty significant amount of weight on your back exercises, obviously you need a forearm and bicep pump. But if you're like me, you know, the bigger the arm, the better. So I'm just gonna work it some more.
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Intense, man. It just shoots in there until it's so much burning sensation, man. It's crazy. But at least you know you're growing when you're doing that. You get that feeling. So once again, man, um, like I said, we're 13 weeks out. Um, still pulling heavy weight. Um, one thing that is pretty constant is whether I'm, you know, further from a show or closer to a show, I try to keep the weight as heavy as possible um, to maintain as much fullness as I can. Um, a lot of people tend to kind of back off of the weight, go lighter, you know. Fortunately enough for me, the way my diet is kind of set up is I don't really have much food taken away. Um, I don't really get carbs dropped. So, there, you know, like last trip, it wasn't a time when I ever felt like I was so burnt out. So, um, I can tend to keep it pretty heavy. Um, there are certain movements that I may stay away from. Um, you know, if I'm closer in within six weeks or so, I'm, I, though the amount of free weights that I may push uh, may differ. Um, I may not do, for instance, I may bench press 13 weeks out and I may not touch a bench at all anytime within six weeks of a show. Just safer that way. You never want to risk an injury that close to a show because that sucks, man. I mean, you get injured, can't do anything, can't compete, um, much less work out. Um, so better safe than sorry, just kind of listen to your body. So uh, for right now, my food is very, very high, very high carbs, very high protein. So I'm able to kind of push as much weight as I want and still get a great pump and um, not feel less energy throughout the workouts. Let's go hit some hammer curls. I'll be able to finish up with that. Um, I like hammer curls a lot because, you know, they hit the forearm and the outer head of the bicep. So. A little pop five, five. Bicep, bicep. I don't even know what, what you'd even call this muscle. Whatever it is, it's there. Man, Jesus. Pumps oh, unreal, man. Right, guys well that pretty much wraps that up man for back and biceps uh at approximately 13 weeks out so post-workout um today pretty much every day um after the workout um i'll do a nice little mix of my labrador nutrition whey protein iso whey um and a scoop of aminos it's pretty cool when they put the scoop right at the top um, so I don't have to go digging in there, you know, with my dirty hands. So one scoop of that and with the protein. And then some recharge post-workout. Um, yeah, about 60 grams of carbohydrates post-workout. So huge shout out, obviously, to Labrada Nutrition. I got to love those guys over there to make sure to keep me, you know, pretty on top of my game. Uh, with my sports supplements and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, you know, we're 13 weeks out. Obviously going to keep killing it every single day um, until we reach the goal of maintaining that pro card. Uh, so, um, next time, you know, we'll I'll kind of see what the feedback is on this video. Um, and then, you know, we'll kind of lock in on what we're going to shoot next. Um, probably some legs or something. Um, that's a big part that I feel like I really have improved um, since the last show, um, pretty much throughout for the past year. So we'll get cracking on that. And um, other than that, you know, uh, next time maybe my guys will join me, you know, shout out to Hunter, you know, Brian. Um, Hunter is definitely looking really, really good. He has a show here in about um, I want to say eight weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, um, but it's uh, the Europa, the Dallas Europa. So obviously looking for him to take the overall there. Um, and then my buddy Brian, he'll follow. He, he'll be doing the Branch Warren um, here in Houston. So um, it's a week before my show, actually two weeks. So then we'll all head out to Vegas to the U USA's and 
you know, hopefully I can follow up those two wins with another win um, and grab that pro card, man, because obviously the ultimate goal is to become Mr. Olympia. So, you know, you guys heard me talk about that for probably a good three, four years now. I'm going into my fourth year competing. So it's kind of time to get the ball rolling. You know, I, I feel like I really have a good base to kind of get started and be highly competitive at the pro level. So we'll just keep on, you know, chomping at the bit. Um, obviously, you know, thanks to Raw Gym Texas, obviously. We're here, this is my home gym where I train at. I gotta love those guys, you know, they make sure that I have all the equipment I need. Um, I pretty much get free reign to come in even when the gym's closed, you know. That's pretty cool. So um, until next time, man, we'll, we'll, we'll see you guys and uh, we'll get after it again. So you guys make sure you check out the video. Um, hit me up, give me some questions, you know, on social media, Patrick T. Moore on Instagram, Patrick Moore on Facebook. Um, you guys give me some feedback, let me know if you have any questions, um, and I'll try my best to get back to you, you know, so until next time, later.